Welcome to our lesson about the Scale tool. Let's begin by activating it. It's on the Mold Tools tab. In the mold design process, we often need to compensate for shrinking. That's because hot material shrinks when it cools down, or more accurately, it occupies greater volume when warm and less volume when it's cool. In the Scale Property Manager, we've only got a couple parameters to adjust. The Scale About drop-down menu gives us three different options, Centroid, Origin, and Custom Coordinate System. Let's select Origin. Check here to use a uniform scale factor, or we can set a different value for the X, Y, and Z directions below. If you use this option, keep in mind that you'll be deforming the model. Let's opt for a scale factor. We'll enter a value of 0 0.5. 0 0.5 means the model will be twice as small. A scale factor of 1.5 will make a model 50% bigger. For my example, I'm going to use a uniform scale factor of 1.03, and that implies a 3% shrinkage. Of course, this parameter depends upon material type, processes, and many other factors. We enter a value in this field either manually by typing it in or using the up and down arrows to adjust. At this point, let's click OK. The part is visually a little bigger now. However, the scaling affects the part geometry, but doesn't affect the underlying sketches, dimensions, etc. You'll notice that we have a new feature in the Feature Manager tree, Scale 1. The Scale feature behaves like any other feature in SolidWorks. We can roll up and down to quickly hide and view the Scale feature. And a final reminder, the geometry scales for export purposes only. This concludes our lesson about using the Scale command.